I'm going to try to do a test with my son's frisbee that I've borrowed off him. I'm going to put it on this cordless drill and we're going to get it spinning. And I picked this because it's red and it's really easy to see. And I'll put the S3S drone here in front of it using the drone's camera so you can actually see the difference when I adjust the shutter speeds and apply the ND filters. So the clip on the left is in full auto mode without an ND filter and as you can see the spinning blades are all stuttery and jittery. And that's because on auto the shutter jumps to a crazy fast speed which basically freezes each blade. You can see the razor sharp jittery spokes that stutter as they cross the frame. It feels crunchy and digital, almost like a flip book. The clip on the right I've set to 25 frames per second with the shutter speed at 1 50th. And now we've locked in that 180 degree shutter rule. Now if it's still a bit bright, then you add an ND filter. And because we're indoors, if it's a bit dark, you can actually bring up your exposure, but you leave your shutter speed and your ISO exactly where they are. And once you've done that, instantly the blades melt into a smooth natural blur. The motion looks fluid, the highlights stop clipping, and the whole image feels cinematic instead of an action cam. It's the same room, the same blades, just the right shutter, and an ND. 